Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we use an external REST API in Oracle Fusion AI agent. Let's see the steps involved. We require four steps. The first step is we need to know which external REST API we want to use in our AI agent. Then we have to create an AI agent tool based on the external REST API. We require a supervisor agent, or we call it as agent team and then we require a worker agent. Okay, let's see the first step. I'm using a free REST API, which is available without any authentication. You can try this particular REST API. If at all, if you have authenticated based REST API or if you were voice based API or other APIs used appropriately. But in my case, in the demo, I'm using a free REST API, which is available without any authentication. This API, and what does it provide? It provides the list of objects or nothing but a list of devices which are available. So it has a couple of devices like Google, Samsung, Apple, Mac Pro, enough of devices it will list. So now the second step is in the AI agent, we need to create a tool based on this external REST API and make sure that you select the tool type as external REST and then mention the appropriate tool name and here I'm selecting a family as common and product as other description, which is mandatory. And then you need to provide authorization as well as function, both the things. So if at all, if you start with a function, in the function, what we <laughs> provide is, we need to provide a relative URI of your REST API, mention the appropriate operation type, and if at all, if it is having any parameters, you mention that. Once the function is done, you need to mention the authorization in the authorization, we need to mention the instance URL. And then authentication, in my case, I mentioned none. And that's a description, which is mandatory. And then you can create your particular tool. So this is how the tool type you have to select. Tool type, external rest. Now, once the tool is created, next step is you need to create an agent team. And the, make the agent team, here I'm mentioned as a supervisor agent. You can go with the family, any specific family you can want to mention. And then you need to create a worker agent. And once you create a worker agent, you select the tool type as, select the tool and select the tool which we created in our first step. And here you can see the list object tool which is available here. This is how the AI agent team should be looking like. And the final one is you can just execute the agent and just type get object objects list. You should be able to get all the objects. And then you can also try Try to mention a specific object like a get me details of Samsung Galaxy uh, Galaxy Z. It provides the data of only that particular object which we mentioned. Okay, let's try it out. So the first thing is I'll show you the REST API which I'm using. This is a REST API. You can observe the URL of this particular one here. HTTPS API dot RESTful iPhone API dot dev slash objects. This is my relative URL. After slash whatever I have is my relative URL. Just click on send. I'm getting the data like this, right? Now, the next step is, we have seen the first step. Now, go to the tools and agent, agent studio. Let me get that, tools, AI agent studio. And we have to create a tool, select tools and create an external, a tool type based on external rest. So select tool type as external rest. And here I'll just mention list object external rest demo. It generates the rest one common. I'll go with common other and get objects list description. And now here we have to provide two things, authorization and function. And you can go with either of them. I'll just go with authorization first. And as I mentioned, till dev is your instance you can remove the slash authorization none list objects authorization click on function and now mention the get objects list endpoint resource path yes slash objects is my resource path get list of objects no parameters, I'll just ignore, click on add, and check it out whether the authorization is, uh, yeah, you can see the function and check the authorization is there, or, yeah, it is there. And, okay, now, is anything missing? It is not showing the create, if at all, if it does not show create, 
and yep let's try it again it's not still showing there's something wrong no parameter sample headers nothing to enter click on update again okay so yes it happens so what we do click on cancel try again i'll just mention external rest family common other list objects the create is disabled as of now and click on add i'll just get my instance url Get objects list. Then yeah, make sure that you click on update. Yes, once you click on update, it is showing create, right? That was a mistake. And click on function. Now this is very important. You need to mention get list objects endpoint. And we know the endpoint slash objects. Get list objects description. No parameters. Go with the default. Click on add. Yes, create is enabled. Now make a note of your tool name, create. So our tool is created. This is a tool. And now, yeah. Now click on agent themes. Click on add. And here I'll just say list agent supervisor team demo family. I'll go with the procurement, self-service procurement. Interactions will go with 20. List. That's not list agent. That's list objects. List objects agent supervisor demo. Just go with this or list objects agent demo. Click on create. And now the supervisor agent got created. Now click on this particular agent's icon. Now here you have two kinds of options, supervisor and worker agent. We have to click on worker agent. Now I'll just say list objects, worker agent. And here we'll just go with the same thing, procurement, self service procurement, go with this one. List objects, worker, get list of objects. Okay, so now this is our worker agent. So agent team got created, worker agent got created. Now we have to assign the tool to the tool section. So once you create a worker agent, it shows the tools and topics. You select the tool. Now it shows a list of tools which are available. And we made a note of our tool name. Just search, it should be available. And then click on add. It shows the properties. You can go with this information, nothing to change, click on add. So our agent is almost ready. Let's try. So you just click on debug and it shows a pop-up now. Yeah, this is the one where you have to mention the prompt with input. I'll say get list of objects. Let's try. Yeah, so it invoked our external rest tool. You can see the tool. If it invokes that, so most probably it will provide a result from that response of that particular REST tool, if at all, if it got the response. Yes, we got the information. Now I'll just try to say that I just want the information of Apple Watch Series 8. Let's try that. Get me details of Right, so it provided the information. Let me try again. Get me, I'll say Google Pixel. Perfect, so we're able to get the information. So if you don't provide the input of any specific object, it gets all the data. If you, if you provide object of a specific one, you get the data of that specific in particular object, right? It gets filtered automatically at runtime. Yeah, this is all about the demo of invoking external REST API from Oracle Fusion AI agent. Thank you.